Oh, okay. We're here. We're back. <laughs> We're this back. is Unleashing Leadership. I'm Travis Moss, CEO of C Playing Group, and this is my co-host, Dave Nerchi. Did you forget the new style there? How we, uh, no, we just, you know what? Yep. I hit the record button, <laughs> and I was reading. I wasn't paying attention, and, and uh, you know, they're, yep. Multitasking is hard. Yeah. You get to enjoy <laughs> the music a little bit more today. Uh, <laughs> This is a podcast where we uh, implement takeaways from great books into our business. And today we're working on the book Build by Tony Fidel. And the next on our list is You Are Who You Are, Work on Yourself, and Don't Be an Act. I mean, what do you think? Sounds good. That's good? Yeah. All right. We'll do it then. As always, do us a favor, like or subscribe to us wherever you are listening or watching. And if you don't do that on the normal... Let us be the exception. Every time someone likes or subscribes or gives us a good review, it helps others find the show. And we're very thankful for that. So thank you for all of the good wishes for the success of the show. And today's episode is brought to you by Seed Planning Group, our day job. You can see it on our shirts there. Um, Fee-only fiduciary, so wealth management firm that helps people overcome the challenges that are keeping them from personal fulfillment. That was our tie-in from the series uh, Infinite Game by Infinite. Simon Sinek. Yep. And check out Seed Planning Group at seedpg.com. All right. You are who you are. Work on yourself and don't be an act. When, when did you get comfortable with being who you are? <laughs> I've, always, <laughs> I've always been pretty comfortable. with Everyone knows who I am, I think. <laughs> I, I don't hide it very well. So even if I tried, but that is a, it's an interesting point in the work world, right? Because I think some people try to put on this, whatever, you know, like a perception or face that isn't really them out of, for whatever reason. And I think a lot of that goes into the, like the smart, we talk about hungry, humble, and smart. You get that politician type of person that acts a certain way or changes who they are because they think it's what people want, right? Or it's what's yeah, gonna, right there, what people want. Yeah. yeah. Or what's going to work better in this situation. And, I mean, that's just a losing game, right? It's just a matter of when are you going to actually burn yourself because you can't keep that up. And if you try, you, people are going to realize that's not who you are. You're going to get caught in some sort of lie yeah. or fake attitude type of thing. And it's just yep. not going to end well for you. Yeah, you can't. I, I, I really... I'm against faking it till you make it. You know, when I got into the mm -hmm. finance industry, you're supposed to wear a suit, put a tie on, you know, get a nice car, try to impress people. Um, and I got to a point really only after about three years in, three or four years in, maybe a little bit longer. But um, early on, I just got to the point where I was like, you know, if if, if you don't like me, you don't want to work with me if you don't respect me for what I bring to the table. I don't want you to work with me, you know, because it's it's hard putting a front up and it's pompous, mm -hmm. and it you attract the wrong sorts of people, right? You you know if if you are um, very concerned with projecting, you're you're not going to get the type of people that we'll walk through fire for I mean, you right. just won't do it. That and the fact that, like you said, eventually that, that house of cards is going to come collapsing down and there's not going to be any any substance there to save yep. you. It's just going to be like, oh, that's who you really are. and That's that's just no good. Um, but I, I think that people... It, it's, it's, it's a social issue right now where people don't like themselves. Right. They don't like the way they look. They don't they don't like, you know, something about themselves. They don't like the way they talk. They don't like their voice. They don't like their hair, whatever they don't like. Right. Mm -hmm. um, Why is that? How's that? Or is that being influenced? Well, you you are who you are. And I had a manager early on tell me you are where you deserve to be. So if you don't like something, ask yourself why. If you don't like the way you look because it's un because you're unhealthy, work on your health, right? I mean, like, use that as a map for what to do 
to improve yourself. Right. If you don't like the fact that you don't look like you're successful because you don't wear expensive suits, wearing a cheap suit isn't going to make you look successful. It's going to make you look like you're wearing a cheap suit. So the my answer to people who are in that boat, work really hard so you can afford an expensive suit. And I'll respect you. I mean, I've seen it before with, with, with people, you know, you get, you get people from all walks of life and you watch them go through these different journeys and you watch them go from not having much money at all to having some money. And you watch the way that they, their attire changes and their hair changes and their makeup changes and their self-confidence changes and those types of things. But if you're so worried about showing off up front, you never actually develop a foundation where that really is you. You know, it's just, it, you're so, you're so wound up and bound up that, you know, you're, you're trying to project that, um, you know, it's just, it, it, it's, it's, it's like you said, smoke and mirrors. I think I'm just kind of talking myself in circles in this one. Yeah. I think, you know, it's, it's a, it becomes apparent if something is actually important to you, right? Like you talk about health. Well, if you just want to look a certain way, you know, whether it doesn't matter if you want to you know, be muscular or thin or whatever it is, yeah. and you're just doing it because you think that's what society yes. accepts, yeah. Yeah. then that's fake. That's easy to see, right? This person's doing that, or they talk about this, they're doing the fad diet, whatever it is, because that's what other people want. And they think they'll be accepted. If you want to be healthy because you think it's important because you have more energy, you feel better, you you know, whatever it is, you're healthy for your family, your, your kids, your, you know, all of that, well, that's different. Then people are going to understand you're going to give off the right, right. Hey, that, that person cares about their health because there's a reason for it. There's a purpose for it. And it's not, not because it's what they think society will accept. So I think that's how I kind of look at that is in, in the expensive clothes, right? Like who's to say wearing expensive suits or brands or anything is right or wrong. If somebody is very, stylish they like that right that's important to them and that's who they are and their character that's great if it's hey i'm putting this on because i want to present myself as something but i could really care less then that's going to come out and, and be seen like oh you must be a fake because you're just trying to attract better clients because of right. your suit not because you care about the style or the brand or why why yeah. that is expensive i've seen people do that re with religion you know, you see a lot in the financial space, people use a religion to go and collect clients mm -hmm. and, and and they're like, oh, you should trust me because of, you know, we go to the same church and it's like, no, I should trust you because you're a good professional. Right. Whether or not you go to the same church as me should have no, no bearing on that. Um, introverts and extroverts. If you're an introvert, stop trying to be an extrovert. Yep. All that does is create stress. Mm hmm. Yes, maybe put yourself in a situation so that you can meet people and be out there or have a place where you can go that's around other people, but still gives you a place to sit and just enjoy and watch. Know yourself and what makes you happy. Do things to introduce yourself to things and give yourself some experiences, but don't fight who you are. Yep. You know, be who you are. Um, I'm a red personality. How weird would it be if I came in on Monday and tried to be a blue personality or a yellow <laughs> personality <laughs> or a green personality, right? And I've seen yep. this. I've seen people who are green personalities try to be red. And I'm like, what are you doing? They're like, I'm trying to be more red. I'm like, stop. Yep. You, you, that's not you. You don't, you can't, you don't wear that well. You can't pull that off. It's, it's so not you, in fact, that it creates stress and distrust. Right. You know, and, and so when you when you are genuine and you are unique, and you're like, this is how I am. This is who I am. These are things I'm working on. These are things I'm good at. These things are things I'm not good at. And don't try to pretend, you know, um, when you're confident in yourself and the fact that you're trying to get better, you're making the effort. You can give yourself a lot of grace. You can grow well, but you can also earn a lot of trust and respect from people because at least they know where you stand. They know what to expect. They know what they're going to get every time they get you versus somebody who's really, you know, I would call it unstable mm -hmm. when they're trying to be something that they're not or trying to project something that they're not. And, you know, and I think that that's, there's a lot of social pressure with social media and stuff like that with, you know, this is how you're supposed to be or how you're supposed to act or how you get, you know, attention. And it's like, 
you you need to do what works for you, not what somebody on the internet told you to do or something like that. Yeah, if people are busy guessing who you are, you're never going to, they're not going to have the time to actually build a meaningful relationship yeah. with you. Yeah.